Now, one of the questions uh, answer that was submitted earlier, the person asked this. Now, why does Jesus tell those who he has healed to spread the news? And at other times, he tells them not to spread the news. Okay? Do you understand the question? Sometimes when Jesus does a miracle, heals someone, he says, go and tell people. Then at other times, he say, don't tell people. Don't tell people. So the person asks, now, why is this so? Why different cases? Why? Okay, so who wants to try to answer? Grace. Yes. Because um, when Jesus says don't tell people, it's when he is going to die soon. Ah, Jesus tell, told them not to tell some people because he was going to die soon. Um, not so much that. He did tell people, well, don't tell people that I'm going to die because um, it was not time yet. So that's a different thing, right? About his own, his own crucifixion and when he started the ministry, he did tell people, don't tell anyone yet until the time is ripe. Okay? But this is about healing. Healing. Curing people. Why do you think so? Phoebe, why? Why do you think so? Sometimes Jesus, after healing, say, go tell people. And another time say, don't tell anyone. Why, Phoebe? Do you know? Don't know. Elim. Okay. Is it because when he healed on the Sabbath day, he did not want the Pharisees to know? No, not that occasion. Right? Is it wrong to heal on Sabbath day? Elim. Is it wrong to heal? Was it wrong of Jesus to heal people on the Sabbath day? Is it wrong for you to go see doctor on Sunday? <laughs> Alright, you fall down and you hurt yourself. Is it wrong for you to go see doctor on, on Sunday? No. It is not wrong for you to see doctor on Sunday. But is it wrong for the doctors to see you on Sunday? <laughs> is it wrong? Not sure. Not sure. Now, it is not that occasion as well. Um, so let's read, look, look at these occasions. Now let's turn to Mark chapter 5. Uh, sorry. Uh, Mark, ch okay, Mark chapter 5, verse 19. Mark 5, 19. Alright, Mark 5, 19. By the way, it's nothing wrong for Jesus to heal on the Sabbath day, alright? It's nothing wrong. The Lord says that Sabbath is made for men, that is work, those are works of mercy. We'll talk about it after. Now, Matthew chapter 5, sorry, Mark chapter 5, verse 19. Mark chapter 5, verse 19. I'm sorry, I'm behind. Okay, 1, 2, 3, reading. Okay, Mark 5, 19 says, Now after the Lord healed this man, cast out the demon, then the Lord says that go and tell your friends, right? Go and tell your friends. So this time the Lord says go and tell your friends. Now, let's turn to... Um, an example where he tells them not to tell other people. Mark chapter 7. Right? So if you're reading the Bible, then eh, two chapters later, Jesus says no. Mark chapter 7, verse 36. Okay, so Noah, you share the Bible with Arthur, right? Mark chapter 7, verse 36. One, two, reading. And he charged them that they should not tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much more a great deal they published. Now here, now here the Lord healed. And yet, he says, don't tell anybody. But then the people went ahead and tell people. And then a lot of people knew. Okay, so why? Jennifer, why? Why sometimes tell, sometimes don't tell? Veronica, you want to help your sister? 
You don't want to help your sister. Okay. <laughs> Anna, why? Anyone knows? You can put up your hand. One, two, three. Okay, no one racing to know. All right, so now. Okay, maybe the adults. Why? Uh, Justin, why? Oh, what? so the possible answer is he told them already, tell them. After they know already, no need to tell them anymore. Is that, is that it? Okay? Now, let's, let's look at the Lord's answers to some of this. Um, now, let us turn to Luke chapter 4, verse 42. Luke chapter 4, verse 42. Luke chapter 4, verse... Okay, verse 42. Okay, let's read from verse 41 and to 41, 41 to 43. 1 to 3 reading. And devils also came out of many, crying and saying... Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day, he departed and went into a des desert place. And the people sought him, and came unto him, and stayed him, and that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. Okay? So, Hazel, why do you think the Lord did not want people to know? Based on these verses. They are affecting His ministry. Okay, why are you all looking there? All right, do you know what it means? What does it mean? Gracia. Gracia? Gracia. How do you pronounce your name? Because I'm pronouncing it like, like Spanish. Gracia, alright, Gracia. Do you know what it means when the Lord says, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also? Do you know what it means? What is happening? You look at your Bible. You know, the people, verse 42, right? He went to a quiet place, and people still went there and looked for him. And then they stayed him, means they said, Don't go away, don't go away. Right? Um, and then Jesus said, I must go to preach at other cities. So why do you think sometimes Jesus tells them not to tell people? Because he had to go to elsewhere to preach the gospel also, right? Right? Alright, so sometimes the Lord did not want it because they began to affect the work that he came to do. They say, say therefore I am sent. I am sent to go around to different places. But the moment they saw that he performed miracles... And then they benefited physically. They only wanted him to themselves. Don't go away, don't go away. A lot of people, many of us, can you just heal us? Don't go to other cities. But the Lord said, I came to preach to other people too. Veronica, can you understand? All right. So, so that is one of the reasons. Now, other reasons, for example, you see furthermore, like Mark chapter 1, verse 44. Mark chapter 1, verse 44. Mark chapter 1, verse 44. So the Lord gave us the answer earlier on. Um, okay, verse 44 and 45. You see what happened? Now, verse, maybe verse 40. Um, okay, verse 44 and 45. Let's read together. And saith unto him, See thou, say nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest. And offer thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But he went out and began to publish it much, 
and to blaze abroad the matter, insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places. And okay, so now this in this situation, what happened? All right, Isaac and uh, Isaac and Matthew and Grace and so on. So Jesus, after he healed, he told the man. Don't tell anybody because Jesus already knew what was going to happen. But the person went out and the person went out and told all the people. And then what does the Bible say? He ended up in verse 45. The person went and told a lot of people in so much that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city. So there are cities. Alright, there are cities. I don't know how to draw cities, huh? Pretend cities are like that, then with the gate. Okay? There are cities. And then there are different cities elsewhere. Okay, different cities elsewhere. But because this man went around and told people, and then the word spread, spread, spread to other cities, what happened? Even Jesus want to go in, cannot. Because lots of people just crowd, 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 crowd. Either don't let him out or don't let him in. Where did Jesus go, Anna? Where did Jesus go? To? He have to go to deserted places. He came to preach the gospel to the people. Alright? So that is one of the reasons that he gave himself. That it began to affect the reason why he came to preach the gospel. Okay? Now, but there are times, indeed, that he did tell them. Wait. Um, now, let's, let's read some more huh, so we understand. And then I, there's a lesson to learn. Now, turn to John chapter 6. Or John chapter 2. John chapter 2. Alright, John chapter 2. What happened to Arthur? What happened to Arthur? Oh, it's, oh okay, okay. Uh, John chapter 2, verse 24. John chapter 2. Verse 24. 24 and 25, all right? So now, okay, so this is the one that I think Grace, you mentioned. Jesus says, I'm, I'm going to destroy, I'm going to die. Or destroy, this body will be destroyed and raised three days. Now, let's read verse 24 and 25 together. Um, okay, reading, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. And needed not that any should testify of men. For he knew what was in men. What does it mean? The Bible tells us that Jesus, Jesus knew all men. And what was in the heart of all men? What was in the heart of all men? What does it mean? What was in the heart of all men? Jesus knew why, what men's hearts were thinking. Okay? So Jesus says, even you go and tell a lot of people, I know what is in their heart. Now, what is in their heart? Let's turn to chapter 6, verse 26. Chapter 6, verse 26. Now, this is the occasion where the Lord just fed the 5,000 people. All right? But the people after that, they keep following Jesus. After Jesus fed them, then lots of people follow him. Isn't it good? Good or not? Not good. Why not good? Why not good? Who say not good? Oh, very fast. She. <laughs> Why not good, Maggie? They they what? They they didn't they didn't believe. Okay. Uh, now, Jesus knew what was in the heart of man, and. This is where he talks about it, chapter, um, chapter 6, verse 26. Shall we read together? The people came to look for him. All right, verse 25 and 26, reading. And they had found, when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye should me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Right? So Jesus knew the heart of man. They looked for him because of... Because of what? Phoebe, because of what? 
What did they look for Jesus? What did you read? What did they look for Jesus? Because they look for Jesus for food, very good. Their stomach, they just look for Jesus for food, that's all. Now isn't it nice? Huh? To the people. Say, well, every day, I don't have to work forever, you know. As long as I follow Jesus, He may keep feeding me for food. Right? He keep feeding me with food. So I don't have to worry. So Jesus says they were looking for Him, uh, like Phoebe rightly pointed out, just for food. That's all. That is all. Do we need food? Do we need food? We need food. So should we look for food? We should. But Jesus says don't look for food. So should you stop eating food? Caleb, a Cornelius. What did Jesus mean? Don't seek food. What? Don't be obsessed with food. <laughs> Who loves food? Who loves sweets? Who loves McDonald's? Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, shouldn't shouldn't be obsessed with food. Correct. Gluttony is sin. Now. They, now look at verse 27. Let's read verse 27. Labor not. Uh, John 6, 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. So Jesus says not that you don't look for food. Now if Jesus thought that food was not important, would he have fed them? No, right? He, he still fed them. But he says, don't just look for food. What is more important? Isaac, what is more important? What does Jesus want us to make as more important than food? Seek who? Seek Him, right? Seek Him. So seek Him first. Because He is God. He is God. So don't seek for food that you eat, you will get hungry again. Seek for God that will save you and you have a life with Him. Okay? So that is the point. So Jesus knew the heart of man. In some occasions, he said don't because he knew it was going to impact his ministry. In other cases, he did say go tell men. He did want men to know. Now, when the case that he want men to know, now let us see what Jesus said um, to tell. Mark 5.18 Mark 5.18 Mark 5.18 Mark 5.18 Okay, now what did Jesus say to this man when he said, go tell? Um, let's read from 18 to uh, 19. 1, 2, reading. And prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him, but not. But said to him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath compassion on thee. So, in this case, Jesus was on the ship. The, this man who was just deli delivered by Jesus wanted to go on the ship and go with Jesus. Excuse me. And Jesus says, no, go home. You go home and tell your friends. Now, this time Jesus says, tell your friends what? Uh, Elim. Ah, Anna. Tell the friends what? Number one, tell them what the Lord has done for them. Number two, that he had compassion on him. Tell what the Lord has done for him. So in those occasions, even when they go and tell, it is tell what the Lord Jesus, what the Lord Jesus has done for them. And that he had compassion. Okay, he loved, he loved them. What the Lord has done. What the Lord has done. The focus was always that people would tell others about him. And they seek Him as their Lord. But the rest, they always want to just tell because they want more people to know and then they get free food together and it's all physical. But what the Lord Jesus wants them to know is when the Lord, the Lord has power to deliver them from the devil's possession. Okay? So those, those situations. So the Lord knew all men's heart. So sometimes like that, sometimes like this. Okay, answer your question. Any other question that follow up? What's the follow-up question? So answer. I think so. Okay, what, what I have not answered, you can submit again. 
Alright? So this is the reason. The Lord Himself says, it begins to affect my ministries. Now, but now the lesson is this. Um, wait. Matthew. Matthew. So when you want to believe in Jesus, why do you want to believe in Jesus? Is it so that Jesus will give you a lot of food? Help you in your exams? You believe in Jesus because He is? Jesus wanted them to believe Him because He is the Lord. He is God. We simply believe in Jesus because He is God. Not believe in God because you want God to bless you. Alright? So remember that. Who want to believe in Jesus only because Jesus will bless, bless you? I hope not. We believe in Jesus because we want to worship Him and serve Him. Okay? Elim, why do you want to believe in Jesus? So that you don't go to hell. You want to go to hell? No, also. So which one? You want to go to hell or don't want to go to hell? You don't want to go to hell. So why, you believe, why do you believe in Jesus? So that you don't go to hell. No. So why do you believe in Jesus? He is the Lord and so that it's here. <laughs> you need glasses. To worship Him and to serve Him. Okay? The Lord wants them to know who He is. Why does God want people to know who He is? That men will know Him, worship Him and serve Him rightly. Okay? Caleb, why do you not want to go to hell? Say again. You want to be spared. Why do you want to be spared? Because hell is a terrible place. Okay. Um, Noah, why do you not want to go to hell? Eternal suffering. Okay, eternal suffering. Shane, today we learn why did God save us? So that we don't go to eternal suffering in a terrible place. Why? Say again? So that we have the power to not sin. Why do you want to have the power to not sin? So we live rightly for Him. It's always for Him. Alright? So Elim, you do not want to go to hell. Caleb, you do not want to go to hell. Not simply to escape judgment. Yes, definitely it's a very major escape, okay? But you do not want to go to hell so that you can serve and live for this living God. Caleb, Ken, why do you not want to go to hell? So that we, will, we can serve and worship and live with this living God, alright? So it's not just because I don't like pain. I don't like pain. Who likes pain? No one likes pain, right? Now, if you believe in God simply to avoid pain, Alex, what will happen? Um, your, focus is on your focus on yourself, and when there's no pain, what happens? You can't be bothered with him, right? If you want to be safe, all right, Elim, pay attention. Huh? If you want to be safe from hell, simply to avoid pain, then what will happen? As long as there's no pain in my life, I don't really care about God, correct? Do you know now why? A lot of Christians, when exam times, very close to God. Hmm? When sick, the elderly, when sick, very close to God. When no money, very close to God. The moment not sick, not exam time, and have a lot of money, forget God. Why? Because we want God only to avoid pain. Understand that, okay? So young ones, remember, you want to believe in God because if you're not in hell, you're not going to hell, you can worship and serve Him forever and ever. Okay? Can? Alright? So Jesus wanted them to seek God for who He is, not for physical things. Are you seeking God for physical things? I hope not. I hope not. Okay. Alright, so I answered this question. That is why the Lord... Told, sometimes told the people to tell, sometimes not, because he knew what man is seeking. 
Okay, he knew what man is seeking and he kept pointing men to the right thing. What do we have here? Top five reasons why church dropouts, uh, what church dropouts say, why they stop attending church. Now, please remember 66% of, well, I take the American view, um, they are the most readily available results. They stop attending church at least a year after turning 18. So from